Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this second plenary session on how regional cooperation evolved in practice. This must be very useful for the Arab regional efforts to integrate that have so far been, if anything, they have been a, a, a basically a story of non-success. Uh, at best, a story of very limited progress in terms of the free trade area implementation. But one really should bear in mind that uh, efforts at integration in the Arab world go back to the 60s, at least the thinking about it when the Arab League uh, established Arab Economic Unity as far back as in the 1960s. But since then, where we are now in 2017, and really, uh, if nothing much has occurred uh, substantially, very limited progress at the level of trade. Now, the reasons, of course, vary. Uh, for this very limited progress, vary, and this will be taken up tomorrow, I think, in tomorrow's session, uh, uh, third plenary session, that will address, I guess, this, this issue, among other issues, to be, to be taken up. In this session, today's session, uh, our distinguished speakers will throw light on how regional cooperation has evolved in practice, the challenges faced, and the benefits that have been reaped from this kind of cooperation, with reference to the African experiences as well as the European experiences. And hopefully, perhaps one would aspire that the Arab decision makers will learn from the experiences of these regions and re reignite their collective efforts to move in the direction of deeper economic cooperation, but we have to wait and see. Uh, without, we have three distinguished speakers, Professor Andre Sapir, Professor Ian Gunning, and Dr. Abdullah Hamdok. And I'm going to be uh, asking Dr. Sapir to, to begin his presentation, but let me say a few words, bio, uh, Andre. Uh, Dr. Sapir is a university professor at the University of Lieber de Bruxelles, and senior fellow of Brugel, Brugel, am I correctly? The Brussels-based think tank. He has taught at the University of Wisconsin Medicine, the Graduate Institute in Geneva, the College of Europe, of Europe in Bruges, and was visiting fellow at the IMF, the World Bank, and the WTO. He worked 12 years as the European, at the European Commission, first as economic advisor to the Director General for Economic and Financial Affairs, and then as principal economic advisor to President Prodi. He has written extensively on European integration, international trade, and globalization. Dr. Sapir holds a PhD in economics from the John Hopkins University in Baltimore. 